All right. Thank you, Joe. So, and, and Sharon. We can't see that without Sharon. Um, up next, let's be like the Boy Scouts. Let's see, yeah, there we go. Fingers are down. All right. We're all good. All right. Up next is Emily, Emily Callahan. Now, I gotta say, Hey, you keep it down over there, back here. Callaghan. See, I practice Carnival, but not Callaghan. Sorry, Emily. I just gotta say, I've gotta look at this piece of paper for this reason, because anybody who says that they have a serious crush on facilitating the creative process, and that she geeks out about creativity, she is perfect for this event. So, her being, well, she'll give us a little bit of her background, but essentially, she, uh, let me see, somewhere here, your name is so crazy here, you teach, you, it's, this is about art, a 30-day project. Everybody, Emily. Hi. Ready? Super quiet up here. Yeah. So I'm trying a new presentation style that involves uh, Congress Pale Ale, um, exhaustion, and you. So feedback is welcome after this. If it works, I'll try to work. Um, so my question, the first question I have is what is fine art? Is this fine art? So what, um, the dictionary says that fine art is about, um, well, maybe not. My question, another, next question for you is what turns you on? So what do you really geek out about? What are you passionate about? Um, what brings you joy? When's the last time you felt electric? So start thinking about some of those things. This is really much longer than last time. I really geek out about connecting. So that's a total turn on for me. So I connect people, I connect ideas, I connect with some of the people in the audience here. They're just talking about how the group has grown a little bit from the connections I've had. I connect with the people from Herb Miller, from Founders. Um, it brings me joy to connect others, and um, there's lots of ways of doing that. Thinking about making, when's the last time you made something? I'm a connector more than I'm a maker. So, I think it's a little bit safer to connect because I'm relying on someone else to kind of produce something out of that connection. I challenge myself to say, how can I make more? I ask some people in my office, I work in a design studio, um, to think about the last time they made something and to think about the first five feelings that came to mind when they stepped back and looked at what they made. What did that feel like? There was a lot of um, satisfaction, joy, excitement, pride. Um, but there was also this whole notion of planning, uncertainty, and they're going to be accepted. So making is emotional. Fluency. So I'm working on creative fluency. I'm fluent in Bloody Marys. I know how to make them. I know how to drink them. I can improvise all about Bloody Marys. I can play on Bloody Marys. Um, I know how to get the materials. So what is creative fluency? I'm really concentrating on what does that mean for me. So because of that, because I'm more connector than a maker or a builder, I gave myself a challenge. And I'm calling it Course Art, a 30-day study. So not fine art. Fine art's about painting and sculpture and music and something that's a beautiful object. This is the opposite of beautiful. So I'll talk a little bit about what my journey was. <clears throat> Things I didn't do, I didn't judge myself, I didn't hesitate, I didn't polish anything, I certainly didn't fret over anything, I didn't practice this presentation. <laughs> <laughs> These are important elements, though, because I didn't add any question myself at all in the way I just did it. I just made something. So the constraints were that it was before I turned on my computer every day in the office. I didn't, um, and I gave myself 10 minutes. It took about an average of three. And I used, my materials were sourced out of the trash, recycling bins. So it was really um, low res. I didn't have to, there was no procurement. There was no selection. It was just what was around. So I challenged myself to make something every day. So as you can see, I started off simple. What are shapes? What does it look like? My first question that would come to mind would be, I wonder how I can make a circle. And I wouldn't hesitate a question, I would just make it. So, again, this isn't fine art. This is the process of making for me. What does that mean? So the first day is a bit more simple here. They said, you can see I'm trying to play with paper, and it's shape, and it's sculpture, and I just turn it around to look different. What does that mean? Um, this is a really poorly designed creativity conference. 
pamphlet actually that was sent to me. A really, really expensive Creative Company conference pamphlet. I, I, I guess I was creative because of it, so that's good. Um, and then, you know, they started to make personalities, like these little paper sculptures of, you know, what if I put a, two staples in this um, already ready made form? What did that look like? And uh, they kind of developed personalities to me at least. <laughs> I really like these guys. One kind of reminds me of Kuba Pali, another one I feel like a person or an angel. Interesting characters to be um, next to each other, but you can see the pattern. It's day 22 and day 23. I started experimenting in different ways. I didn't use a lot of pieces. I didn't use a lot of additional things. It was just what I could make and kind of tear and cut. There were some days I was totally uninspired, so day 10, it was like, oh, a triangle again. But I need something, you know? Day 20 was, um, you know, about the end of December, and there was lots of Christmas candy and food around. I went to the post office, got my stamps, I had the bag, and I was eating a lot of popcorn. This is an interesting shape to me, just when it came to life, it felt like it was textured, there was something interesting about it, the way I moved it around, it made me look at things differently, and then I think, if I could look at the things that I make on a daily basis differently in these same ways, when's the last time I flipped something over or turned it around and looked at it differently to bring more meaning? So, when's the last time you made something and wanted to wear it? So, it was um, a report at work, a brief, whatever it may have been, a spreadsheet, an email. Are you proud of us? Do you put enough pride into everything that you make? Are you proud enough to wear it, to put it on the fridge? This morning there was a really beautiful sunrise, I'm really into watching the sky, and I was inspired by that. I tried to get to work um, when the sun is rising, it was energetic to me. And just using that as inspiration to develop form and shape, and then using that as a metaphor, and then bring it back into my work. Um, so it cost me nothing to do, this 30 day discovery of what making means to me. Um, resources come in, people and dollars, I'm free. Why was, well, Johnson Controls, thank you for the 90 minutes. Um, but yeah, there was, no, there was no money spent on resources and materials. The next slide, yeah, so that's the, all the three days. They became more complex and then more simple and kind of weeded them out. There's patterns there, I like patterns as well. <laughs> oh, cheers. <laughs>